Africa Dio, Goodbye Africa, is a 1966 documentary by Gualtiero Jacopetti and Franco Prosperi. They were two Italian filmmakers that, along with their crew, spent three years around Africa to document the violence of the post-colonial era. The film's main feature are lots and lots of gore, and I'm not sure how much of it I can show. There are some lighter sequences, but if you cannot stand violence against either humans or animals, then they're not gonna salvage the film. If you want to watch this yourself, I'll put some links down in the description. Let's begin. Right from the title, Africa Dio is a hard sale. It's probably why the American version was called Africa Blood and Guts. But while the original title seemed to imply a kind of send-off to European colonialism, this isn't the case. This movie was made by people who lived through World War II and grew up with stories about how mysterious and untamed the continent was. Stories of explorers, strange magic and uncontacted tribes. So the idea was to show what the continent was actually like in the 60s. Genocides, racially motivated violence, poaching or just plain old warfare. And while there's certainly less whites and Arab to genocide nowadays, it feels like Africa hasn't changed that much. This documentary is definitely a companion piece to 2011's Empire of Dust. However, only few sequences managed to show the transformation of the continent as intended. For example, there's one showing a traditional Zulu dance only to then reveal that they were filming a movie, and another one of the Sudanese government distributing underwear. In general, the documentary struggles to convey a clear singular message. Rather than explain an event or conflict, the filmmaker just decided to show everything important they filmed. The juxtaposition of sequences, the emotional music, the at time overly verbose narrator or create an unsteady pace. It's undeniable that the intent was to just let the images speak for themselves, as the narration is either used to contextualize or for the classic this is so bad all humans should be ashamed. Guardiamole queste immagini, guardiamole pure con pietà. Ma soprattutto guardiamole con vergogna. So, the subject matter of every single unethical cruelty we came across in our three year long trip to Africa and also swimsuit might be too broad for some people. But the genuine cruelty and raw violence this documentary portrays might be interesting for others. Plus there's scenes of the crew being in real danger, some nice shots of nature and some almost absurd footage. Uccelli è il segno inequivocabile della presenza umana. Aves artificiais, 3, 2, 1, vamos. The American version of Africa Dio had this tagline. Every scene looks you straight in the eye and spits. I'm not sure that's how I describe the scene of a sea of people massing at a beach trying to escape certain death, followed by a cut to the next day's footage where the coast is littered with corpses or long poaching sequences that make the previous safari hunting scene look like something you'd bring your child to. One last thing to point out is that the sequences showing mercenaries in the Congo are something you've probably seen around already. They're the reason why I watched this in the first place, although warfare is not the main focus of Africa Dio. But if you recognize any of this, now you know what they're from. Check this one out if you're looking for something gruesome and real, and if you can stomach copious amount of gore. Again, the whole thing is on YouTube somehow. The American version is up too, I'd recommend the original, but if reading subtitles is something you can bring yourself to do, then it's an alternative. It has less footage and the narration is at times different, but it's comparable. That's all, thanks for watching. See ya! Sono di proprietà personale di Tom O'Keefe e di Somset Wilson, ex piloti rhodesiani che ebbero le famiglie massacrate dai ribelli dell'Angola. Anche questa volta, prima di partire, hanno riempito i moduli dell'aeroporto nel solito modo. Destinazione inferno. Motivo della missione, affari personali. They're about to execute us when a rebel officer sees one of our passports and shouts, Wait! These aren't whites. They're Italians.